What is up my veggies? My name is Veggie Tales Raymond and welcome back to another video and today I kind of have this big old box here and these bags over here so there's a if you guys remember from a while back if you guys have been long time subscribers uh, you guys will remember my friend Nate aka Beast on Rye uh, he was a big fan of FNAF for a while along with me he made all these costumes and fan art and a whole bunch of stuff that he just worked a lot and did a lot, had, was very passionate about for a long time. But the longer he, the longer he kept them and stuff like that, he became like this. He like decided to leave the FNAF fandom, which kind of upset me because I was like, oh no, Nate was my FNAF buddy. Um, but he made a video talking about I'm out of the FNAF fandom where he literally just got rid of everything that he owned that was FNAF related and put it into this box, and I guess these bags. The video you only saw these, this box. Uh, I will put a link to, the, his, to, to his channel and the video in the description below. But he, I texted him at like three o'clock in the morning last night and said, hey, do you have the box still? And he said, yeah. And I offered, well, there's a little story actually, I offered to buy it from him a couple years ago, and he said no. But then, I asked him again last night around 3 o'clock in the morning, he said yes, and he was willing to bring it to me, and he gave me the box. Like, I offered to buy it from him again, and he, he just said, he said, no, nah, I'll just give it to you. And I was like, are you serious? That's awesome, dude. Because uh, I, I do want to work on more stuff and I with FNAF and I don't really have FNAF costumes and stuff like that So this will really help with that um, I don't know if, if everything that is he, he's ever used is in all this still I haven't looked in it yet. I haven't looked in these bags or anything like that So I'm going to look in the box uh, Go through everything one by one. He has some like some FNAF merchandise and stuff in here, too I remember he had some FNAF socks. I doubt he put those in here. I don't know what's all in here um, I all I've seen is I've looked in the box, just opened it up. I only saw a couple things in there. So we're just going to, I think we'll get to the big box uh, in a minute. I want to get to these bags first. Okay, so he just, so, uh, so these seems to be part of the Bonnie cosplay, I think. They're like little sleeves of fabric. That I definitely couldn't fit on my arm. They weren't made for me in the first place. So that's the best I could probably do with that. Now if I wanted to, I probably could make it work. If I needed to wear the stuff. But that's just these little sleeves. Uh, we did use those. And we this stuff we used in my Freddy's Home video. Uh, it looks like he's got a lot of extra fabric here. And materials. See, this is something I had on my arm. I think this is exact, this might have been prototype stuff, I don't know. But this is a lot of the stuff I had on my arm. I'm a lot bigger now, so I don't think all the stuff he made for me will fit anymore. But uh, here's more of this blue fabric that we might have used on our, his, the legs of whoever played Bonnie, uh, I think. So that's something, what else is in this? So it looks like this is a lot of proto. This is a lot of this, the materials and a prototype stuff that Nate did. Um, yeah, there's a some of these. This this stuff that I think he used for eyes and stuff like that. Um, here's another thing that I don't remember what this was used for, but I can I could probably get some use out of it. If I want to make another FNAF movie or something. Here's some more fabric. Um, some more materials. I really wouldn't count this as fabric. I think this is what he made the Chica head out of. Uh, or this might have stuck it on the arm. I don't know. I don't remember everything. I wasn't I wasn't part of the creating process for the stuff. See, I don't even know if, if this is stuff, we, if any of this is stuff we used when we actually filmed the movie. It's been a while since I went back and watched it. So yeah, there's just a lot of material here um, that I just don't know what it is. I think, I'm pretty sure all the blue stuff is from Bonnie. Uh, now, I know this is the what he used to, I believe, 
make the beak, and I believe we could have used this for something. I believe these probably went on the legs for like, like it won't, they clearly won't go on my legs, but I can get some use out of this stuff. Okay, right here is something that I don't even remember if we used in production. But it, it's the Chica bib. Time I actually wear this. He made the Chica bib. I don't remember if we even used this, cause I don't remember it. But we might probably did use this Chica bib. So, and it took a lot of work for Nate to make all this stuff. So I asked him to make it. It wasn't. He just made a minute. He may just made a uh, Foxy cosplay for himself. I asked him to make, and see here's some more material that he just had. A lot of this, so this just seems like some letters that I get to use on the uh, bib. So this isn't really the box of, the rest of this is really just materials that he used. That's not what I thought any of this was. I didn't think he had any of the materials left. But yeah, literally everything here is materials, which I really don't have any use for. Uh, I don't know what's in, I think there's more of those materials in this bag. I haven't looked at it. It's really tied up. I'm gonna try not to rip the bag. So I haven't really looked at what's in this bag either. So it looks like some familiar things in here. Um, so I didn't know that he was going to be giving me bags either. I just, I just asked him about the box. I don't know if he took things out of the city. This, this looks like, okay. This was all the, uh, the chest stuff. Why, well, obviously this won't fit me anymore. It might, I actually might be able to make that fit. Uh, but like this, I didn't even wear this in production. Uh, Nate wore this in the movie. Uh, I think Tanner wore it in one scene as well. And it turned out really, really well. So that's something to throw out there. Here's what I wore. I remember wearing this. It was tight on me, but I think I might still be able to wear it since I've lost a lot of weight. But who knows? This stuff probably doesn't fit, but I can get some use out of it. Maybe get like a mannequin and put it on there. I don't know. Uh... So next thing is, I forgot he made the, uh, okay, it looks like one of the duck toes broke, or it looks like he never put them on. Oh, these are like little shoes. Now these I could put on if I wanted to. These are like, I think he's got another one right here. Yeah, okay, he only put two on the, I don't remember how accurate, it's been a while since I've looked at the FNAF characters like in detail. But these, I don't remember how accurate these are, but these were like some shoes that he made that I could actually, I'd probably wear these as house shoes. Uh, but I definitely will get some use out of all this FNAF stuff. Uh, and here are what I'm thinking is the uh, Bonnie ones, which I like so much more. He, most upsetting for me at least was the fact I don't think he made shoes for me. Which was the, okay, see, Bonnie, the Bonnie foot is really got some wear and tear on it. But, like, they still look good if you wanted to wear them for cosplay, uh, cosplay reasons. And here's, I think this is a sleeve I had to put on my arm. No, that's just a piece of brown fabric. Uh, I think I had to put this on my arm. I don't remember everything. I don't remember what we did, I had to force some things on my arms and things like that. Uh, there's a piece of foam that, that I probably threw that away. Uh, this is what I think he probably carved the Freddy bow out of, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I wish I could have, Nate could have came in and talked with me about it. So he had some gloves in here. I don't know what these were used for. If they were part of any of the cosplay or not. Um, next thing is what he did for Foxy's feet, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, he's actually got shoes in there, 
So I probably couldn't wear these because I have bigger feet than Nate. But if I wanted to, I could probably make it work. These are just a bunch of duct tape shoes. I might be able to make this work. I might be able to turn these into something. Um, I might just probably try to get whatever's here. Okay, so I don't know what this is. Tell me down in the comments if you know. Uh, and I guess this is what we use for Chica, which just seems to be a yellow shirt that he cut the sleeves off of and we stuck the bib on. So I'll keep all this. So even the extra material, I'll keep it all because this is nostalgia for Nate and me. So now I'm gonna get into the bread and butter of this box. Um, so I do see a lot of stuff I remember. Uh, I'm going to get into the, the big, big thing first. Uh, this was the crown jewel of Nate's. I doubt the light still works. Um, if it does, I will be 100% shocked. Okay, it doesn't. I'm not surprised by that. I think he put light in all the masks. It's so gone through a lot of wear and tear, but that's expected with it being sitting in here for as long as it did. And this I can actually wear. I can wear it. It's just a little small and I kind of I think the name made it to where you gotta look at the mouth so that's good or through these right here I don't know but the this is probably one of my favorite I'm, I'm just gonna uh, set this up here that's probably one of my favorite things from this um, and he also had an eye patch this is the one he had originally on it. I'll probably get some use out of an eye patch. Uh, so it's an eye patch. I'll just put that over here. Uh, so this little this is in love with memory for now. If you've seen the video, he put this in the box last, but it looks like the box isn't really taken care of that much. So this notebook is one that Nate would carry around at school and make a bunch of drawings of. Now, if it's okay with Nate, I think I might want to post these to my um, my DeviantArt if it's okay with him. Um, because 90% of these drawings in this book are foxy. I don't think anything in here is not foxy. I'm looking through them real quick before I show them to you guys. Um, yeah, this is the whole, his whole Fox, this Fox is his favorite character. So, and it, okay, they got some, he got Mango in here by himself. Yeah, and this is back when we thought Mango was a girl. Even though I'm still not sure if Mango's a guy or a girl. There's a lot in here. You can buy and fall out a little bit with some of these. Portal. See, Nate was re is really good at drawing. Yeah, and some of these I haven't even seen actually. A lot of these I remember. But a lot of these I never saw. I didn't even know 90% of this notebook was filled. So I might come back to this at the end of the video, but this was a bunch of fan art. And he has a, more, a lot more fan art. I'm gonna go through all the fan art at the end of the video. So let me just get all these papers and just put them to the side. I might get this stuff framed. If I can get frames, like I'll definitely probably go get these framed if I can. Because a lot of these just look so nice. And some of them are like, oh, oh Nate, why'd you do that? Yeah, uh, some of these are 
image and pictures. Okay, so these are one of my favorite things Nate ever made. Now, these weren't made for anything. He just made these. He made a video of them making them. These were the Paper Pals, which he kind of got tape on and kind of ruined a little bit, but I'm not bothered by it. There's the this guy, and I'm guessing Bonnie, and then there's the Freddy one. So these are really cool. Okay, so I can already look at most of this stuff and see it's gone through heck and back. Uh, let's get to whatever he's got. It's official FNAF merchandise. Starting with this, uh, one of the original Five Nights at Freddy's merchandise was this Foxy plush. Uh, this is bigger than the one I had. This, this one, so this is one reason why I'm glad this was still in the box and he still had the box for it itself. So you can tell this stuff has been sitting in this box for almost three years, I think. Um, and I looked, it's a lot of it been squished and just broken. Uh, now here's some memories. Oh my goodness, okay. There's Freddy. I think I can probably shape this back to its original shape. Just got a little bending done that, it's been sitting in this box for, I believe like three years. Whenever that video was uploaded, it's been sitting in that since then. But if I put this on, it'll probably look better. But it's the best we've got for Freddy. Uh, I really want to be careful with this stuff and try not to break it more than it's already been squished. So this stuff's probably all going to get put out of this box eventually. Um, next up is probably his simplest. Oh, no. Okay, so I didn't realize how much damage has been done to these things by sitting in this box. I don't think Nate did either. But like now, he I know he probably doesn't really, it's not too big a deal. Chica's probably got the least amount of damage to her compared to the others. Uh, Foxy, he put in Foxy in there with care though, I'll tell you that though. But these are so good. Nate did such a good job on these, I am not gonna lie. Like, they're not grade A, like some of the ones that I've seen, like... Uh, we had a whole plan to make every character. Okay, this one was really flimsy, I remember. But was actually one of my favorites. We actually used this one uh, in, a, in that video I did years back on Slacking Off at Freddy's. It was going to be a full series, which... Okay, Bonnie's nose is a bottle cap. But Bonnie's really doesn't have that much damage to him. Uh, I don't know if I can, if I'll be able to fit any of this stuff. Um, besides the Freddy head, because that was made for my head. Um, but, but, um, there's one more thing that's in here. That I gotta try to get it all out. He's got these dog tags that he had in here, that FNAF, that uh, they released merchandise-wise. I don't remember how many he had. I think this is all that's in here. Yeah. So he's got... Uh, this one that's got Chica on it. This one that's got Toy Chica on it. Actually, he's got, and he's got one with Withered Chica. And I don't really remember him wearing these around. I could have sworn he had a Foxy one. So he's got like three iterations of Chica here. And he's got another iteration of... uh. So... I really, really wanted all this stuff from Nate, so I'm actually really glad he gave it to me. Okay, so, so these are just really, really important to me now. This is probably a box 
that I'm su really surprised Nate actually gave me. Uh, and it might be because of all the damage that's been done to the uh, costumes and stuff. Or maybe it's just they don't really have any value to him anymore. I don't know. Uh, if you guys want, I might do a whole interview with Nate. I'll see if he wants to do an interview. Because uh, I might interview Nate and talk to him about the box and FNAF and just interview Nate in general. But I think that is everything in this box. Trying to make sure, like, nothing got shoved underneath anything. Trying to make sure everything is done. But yeah, that's really it for all this stuff, guys. Um, I don't know if any of this will even fit me anymore. I am going to take extremely well care of it, though. Uh, I'm going to see what I can do to make some of this stuff fit. Because I guarantee you, if I worked at it, I can get this stuff to fit. Uh, and someone help me get this stuff to fit. I could work with, with it and get it all to work. Um, but guys, this is really a walk down memory lane for, I'd say it's a walk down memory lane for both me and Nate. All this fabric, st all this stuff is just completely insane that we even had this stuff. And I still can't believe Nate didn't throw this box out. I really felt like he probably would have. Not that Nate's like, but I think Nate wanted to keep this stuff as a memory. And I think the reason why he put it all in a box is because around the time he did this, I think the whole box thing was a thing. Because he did all this like when Sister Location was announced. And he just said he was just going to forget about Sister Location. And, and that's what he did. I haven't seen Nate talk or play or work with anything FNAF related since that video where he said goodbye to all this stuff. And that's kind of upsetting. I'm not going to lie to you guys, it really is. But I'm just so grateful to Nate for him to give me this stuff. And all this material, and I feel like there's a lot I can do with this stuff. I could probably figure out something to do with it. Like with all this spare material and these spare foam balls. I guarantee you I can find something to do with them. These little things that he used for Bonnie's teeth. And this, oh, these were the, well, these are, oh, these were like, I think something we used for... Chica, I don't remember. I gotta go look back at the video. Uh, that looks like something he probably cut off for Bonnie. And it's just a huge walk down memory lane with these boxes, of this box. And it just blows my mind that all of this is still relatively intact. And it's so crazy to see this stuff after all this time. So for some reason, I got the low end of the stick. My character only got a couple like sleeve things and um, the shirt thing and all that good stuff. But like he went pretty much all out for every other character. Like, I'm actually, okay, you're gonna see some hairy legs. I wonder if I can actually fit this. Without ripping it. I probably could. Like, my foot will fit in here. I'm just scared of trying to get it on. And then getting it off. So I'm not going to attempt that. So here's a problem that uh, I think Nate and I came across. So as you can see. Bonnie is blue. On like all this stuff. But his torso is purple. So that was kind of a problem I think Nate ran into. But it ain't a big deal. Um, that's a good one I'll probably get on. Let's see. Yes, hairy legs, I know. See, this stuff, I worked to get it on. 
I could. And I do want to try to maybe alternate, like alter some of this stuff and try to make it to where I can wear it and make it better and stuff like that. If that makes any sense to you guys, I want to try to make this a lot better and so I can use them in the future for future content and just overall just be able to work on new FNAF content using this stuff. Now these, I definitely, unless I get more duct tape and I'm able to take the shoe out and stuff like that, but I could, I could just, uh. So the thing is, Nate did tell me that there was some stuff missing from this. And that was the stuff for Foxy besides his head. And yeah, I thought maybe when I saw really, really all I wanted was the heads. But like all of it is nice to have. I like that I've got the feet and all that stuff. Uh, I, now we don't have this, I guess. So there's a bot bag that Nate can't find that he said if he finds it, he's going to give it to me. Um, and if he doesn't find it, well, tough luck for me. But I'm going to be extremely careful with this stuff and really try to take care of it. Uh, I'm not going to keep it all in this box permanently. Like, it's all going to be put somewhere and put to good use. Because I didn't just ask Nate for it just to be like my mentos. And they are good reminders of my, of, of my past, of working on a lot of FNAF stuff. And I'm still a big fan of FNAF with the FNAF VR game coming out and all that good stuff. And just the fact that Nate paid 40 bucks for this thing, I don't think I would have done that. But Nate paid 40 bucks for this thing at Hot Topic, I think. I think it was at Hot Topic. Yeah, this was at Hot Topic. But you, because like, he also got some socks with this stuff, which I get, doubt he even has anymore. But it's just so nice to look at this stuff and go take a trip down memory lane. So I'm just gonna put that in there. So. I'm gonna try to. All right, there we go. See this stuff, I just absolutely am glad to now own and have it in my possession. Cause Nate was such a big FNAF fan. Along with me, we both were into FNAF really big. And all this stuff he did and worked on was just such a big deal to him and to me. And every time they had a new FNAF idea, it blew my mind. Like 99% of the time, I was like, whoa, Nate, that's amazing. Or that's a good idea. Or maybe we can work on it or make it, we can turn that, that into some better idea. Uh, yes, I am aware that Freddy looks like he got hit with a truck. Um, but Nate did what he could, and I really, really liked the way it turned out. Keep in mind, Nate and I were amateurs. We were just doing this just to do it. We weren't getting paid. This wasn't for a convention. I think the only time Nate really wore any of this outside of out in public was on Halloween one year. And I am really glad just to own all this stuff now and I can get a lot of use out of this stuff. A lot more than, than I could with it just sitting in a box. And I'm glad Nate decided to let me have it. And it's just so good to see all this stuff again. Actually, I'm gonna, this one's pretty big and it's out of, it's actually in pretty good condition compared to the others. 
I'm gonna try to put it on. Aha, this one actually fits pretty well. It smells like it's been in a box for a long time. But I like it. I'm really, really proud of Nate. I always have been proud of Nate for all this stuff. And I definitely will do stuff with these. I wonder, he put lights in every character. Don't know if any of the lights still work. Oh yeah, Chica's lights still work. They've been in a box for so long, I don't didn't know if any of it still worked. But I am so glad to own this stuff. Um, I can probably make some alterations to the uh, actual outfits themselves. The heads were definitely Nate's hard part. But I want to alternate these to where I can wear all of them. Um, let me try to get Foxy down without me having to get up. Foxy is probably my favorite that Nate has made. He took the most care into this. And then he went to make Bonnie and just, he's got actual wires in here. I actually never noticed that those were actual wires. And just, he took, took so much time and care into making this thing. And yes, I can wear it. Um, I didn't even, there's a hat in here. Like a little pirate hat thing. Which I didn't know he did that, but like, uh-oh. Uh oh, something broke. Something broke, I felt it break. Uh oh, Foxy, you lost a wire. Don't know where it came from. You were glued on some, somewhere. My, my, my beanie and my glasses back on. But I'm going to be extremely careful with this stuff. Cause I'm really glad to have it all back. Not back, but like I have it in my possession now. Because this is stuff that is really important to me. And I know I'm a 17-year-old a junior in high school. And I'll be going on to my full life one day in the soon in the future. But like I said, this is stuff that has just... I think I do want to go through Nate's fan art. Okay, so right here is actually the one I don't remember, but I'm guessing this is supposed to be like FNAF 4. Keep in mind, Nate left the fandom before anything, before FNAF uh, Sister Location. So like anything that's to do with Foxy, Nate loved. Now this one specifically, I remember drawing. I um, remember him drawing because I really fell in love with it when he showed it to me. I believe that's plush trap. And I really did like this Bonnie picture as well. You can tell he kind of got the same inspiration from his uh, head that he made. And right here, I don't think I ever saw this. They were kind of some blueprints for a foxy hat. I would like to uh, frame all this. Okay, this one I do remember, and I remember when Nate sent it to me, I was like, but I think Nate just took someone else's art style, I think, but nonetheless, I still like it. Um, here is this one, and knows like yeah, here's that. And you can kind of see it through the back as well. This was one of his last FNAF drawings, I think. This phone guy and purple guy. Which I really didn't like the whole joke about making phone guy an actual phone. Thought it was kind of ridiculous. But this was definitely one of my favorites. I think he did a drawing video on this one. Tried to, he tried to make it as gang accurate as possible. That's Withered Foxy. I think this was one of his firsts. 
if I can remember, as being what I would love to frame all this stuff. Oh, and this was some like rough sketch. It looks like of him like in like a Disney esque style. His little comic that he did. I'm not gonna read it all. I'll probably put all, if it's okay with Nate, I'm probably gonna put this all on my uh Um So that was a phase Nate had. I don't know why where all the rests are. I think he may have gave them to me because I think I wanted them where he drew humanized versions of every FNAF character. I think I had the rest uh, and they're long gone. I can tell you that. There's no way those are still here. Um, and here is this picture of Freddy, which I definitely want to get framed. And the fact that Drake, I like that Nate would always sign his art. Um, so this notebook, would, he had like four different notebooks and each color represented a character. He was gonna draw pictures, of, but I think he only just decided to stick with the uh, Foxy pictures, which I'm just gonna go through and show each picture here real quick. Let's show all the pictures he drew. I definitely do want to go post all these somewhere if it's okay with Nate. He already gave me, he said it was okay for me to make this video. So hopefully maybe he'll let me post these to my DeviantArt or something. So they can, these images can get a lot more attention. Because I really do like Nate's art style. I did miss it. I don't know if Nate draws anymore. So. Like all this art is just a trip down memory lane. I've seen, I watched him draw most of these in his spare time. So he was most of the time at school and he weren't doing any work. He would be drawing these. And I remember most of them. Some of these, like I said earlier, I haven't even seen before. But a lot of them I do remember. And the fact that I think Nate believed Mangle was a girl, and I still don't know if Mangle was a guy or a girl or not, but whatever, it's art. There's Mangle there. Mangle and Foxy. Sorry for any outside noise. If you guys can hear all that, there's another picture. Another picture of Foxy and Mangle. I guess Nate went through a Foxy and Mangle phase. There's Mangle. I mean, yeah, Mangle again. There's Foxy and Mangle at <clears throat> actual foxes. This is like when Fallout 4 got announced. This is like, like Foxy's like, what? Fallout 4? I don't know if you guys saw that, but this is a Foxy drinking a Nuka Cola from uh. Now that one I do remember because he kept shoving it in my face. This one was actually one of my favorites. The fact that he put Portal with uh FNAF, that was really cool. Hey, this says, I'm gonna go ahead and read it out loud before I show it. He can't see me, you can't see him, but he can see you. UV light needed. Oh, uh, that I don't know what that means. Uh, I guess that means from FNAF 2 when he's in the hall. 
There's also another really nice picture that Nate drew. Mango putting her hand over Fox's mouth and saying shush. That was when the whole, uh, this is like when Mango was on the, that one thing when FNAF was a thing. And that was a teaser. This one I just don't get. And I am gonna interview, I do wanna see if Nate would be up for an interview. Oh, he went for a whole seasons thing. So that's, so that's summer. That's winter. Fall. And new spring. Dude, whatever that is. He also did this little Christmas Foxy. Sorry for the outside noise. Mineralistic Foxy, I like that. And then in love and memory of FNAF. Which, by the way, Nate, FNAF's not dead. You just left the fandom. FNAF will never die. I'm sorry, it might become less popular, but it'll never die. FNAF is just one of those franchises. So, all this art and costumes and merchandise that Nate has, or had, I'm just so glad I can keep, I can g give these things some use. Now right now these are really gonna close because of the way I've got them all stuffed down in here. But I am gonna do some stuff with this. So don't think I'm just using these for views or whatever. These are going to be uploaded. Uh, I'm gonna possibly jump back into making FNAF movies. Uh, if I can make more costumes myself, I will try. I doubt I can. If you saw where Freddy's Home 2 left off. We were getting into the sister location territory. But I don't think I'm going to. Uh, if I'm going to make more FNAF movies, I'm going to make my own universe and try to. We'll see. We'll see what, we'll see what the future holds. But guys, this is all I have to say for this video, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.